For New Knoxville artist Gary Javi, the silverware drawer takes on a different meaning. While paint palette, brushes, and oil pastels fit the creative needs for many others, this amazingly talented visionary uses forks, knives, and spoons as his medium, combining his knowledge of welding to create a unique, amazing, and always one-of-a-kind artistic opportunity. When I was uh, much younger, I was uh, just dating my wife at the time, and we went to a show in, in uh, Wichita, Kansas, that had uh, a guy made animals out of bumper ends, chrome bumper ends. And I, th I thought at the time, somebody made them out of spoons, they could have indoor sculptures. So I, I, didn't, I didn't know how to weld at the time, but I told Tony about the idea. 30 years later, I, I decided to try it, because I had learned how to weld by that time. And, and I remembered I had this idea, and I went back to it, and I built and made a dog, and I just kept making animals out of the flatware. Those animals include a rooster, a beaver, and many, many more. It takes Javi several weeks to complete one of these amazing designs. How many utensils? Well, let's just say plenty. Well, my dad, he's recently passed away, but he, he used to send me flatware that he'd go to garage sales and, and, and uh, flea markets, and they, they knew him by name, and he, he would send them in me flat rate boxes, and he, he sent me over a ton of flatware. If I, if I was better at something else with clay, I'd probably do clay, but I, I got a knack for the welding, and, and it's almost like a puzzle piece to look at something and say, what, what, would, what would a fork or spoon look better in that position? So it's kind of like a puzzle, too, and I enjoy doing those. So. Uh, I enjoy trying to put an attitude in them. Like, if I get, if I get the, the animal to not just look like an animal, but look like an animal that's, that's a little sassy, I like, the, I like doing that. Javi is one of several artists whose work is available at Brief Fresh Home Decor and More in Sydney, Ohio, owned and operated by Rex and Deanna Steineker. We are featuring local artists. Um, we have 30 in our location, um, inspired by, which is the Creative Arts Center, which is where we're at tonight. They opened up about two months ago, and we decided that we wanted to feature some of our um, artists here. So we handpicked about 10 of our artists from blown glass, pottery, and canvas work, and we decided to host a show for them here. Many items on display at this special event painted a clear picture of the artist's faith, something Steenaker says follows right in line with the mission of her shop. Art just speaks to the soul, and it is a great, um, it's a great connection between a conversation. So when someone really expresses interest in a piece, it gives us the opportunity just to open that door and talk to them about their faith and give them um, an opportunity to ask questions. So actually, Refresh um, was named because it is from the living water. And not only do we want people to come to our shop and, and um, refresh their home and re refresh their decor, but also just have a place where they can come and have, have prayer. We pray with them, um, where they can come and just have some hope um, and, and make connections with other people. So